हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे दी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द सीरियल इनपुट सीरियल आउटपुट लेफ्ट शिफ्ट मोड एंड राइट शिफ्ट मोड ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर सीरियल इनपुट parallel output that means sipo shift register let's start our topic in sipo operation the data is entered serially and taken out in parallel as shown in following figure in this figure we can see that the data is entered in serial while the data is taken out in par parallel hence its name is serial input and parallel output type of shift register in this type of shift register the first data is loaded bit by bit the outputs are disabled as long as the loading is taking place that means in this type of shift register the outputs are not available at any time while loading the outputs are disabled after completion of loading the outputs are enabled okay as soon as the loading is complete and all the flip flops contain their required data the outputs are enabled so that all the loaded data is made available over all the output lines simultaneously that means as soon as the loading is complete then the outputs are enabled okay the number of clock pulses required to load 4 bit word is 4 okay in si so type of shift register the clock pulses required are also 4 hence the speed of si so and si po shift register is same the speed of operation of si po mode is same as that of the siso mode i hope you all understand the serial input parallel output type of shift register in this logic diagram we can see that the data in is connected with the d0 okay that means the input of flip flop 0 the output of flip flop 0 is connected with the input of flip flop 1 the output of flip flop 1 is connected with input of flip flop 2 similarly the output of flip flop 2 is connected with input of flip flop 3 and the outputs are taken separately here we can see that q0 q1 q2 and q3 in this type of shift register if we have the 4 bit data like this 1 1 1 1 then first this all data is shift into the four flip flops and after this loading completed then the outputs are available for us okay i hope you all understand the concept of serial input parallel output shift register let's see one example here let the data to be transferred is 0001 that means we want to transfer the data in the shift register is 0001 then lsb should given to the serial data in that is d in phase first we have data 0001 in this the this one is lsb and this one is given to the data in first okay now let's see the operation here we want to transfer data 0 0 0 okay initially all the flip flops are in reset condition that means no data input is connected hence all the flip flop has the reset value that means 0 0 Zero zero, okay. Then apply MSB first. Sorry, LSB first. This one. 
connect this one or give this one to data in then what happens the data in is one hence flip flop zero sets hence q zero becomes one while other flip flops becomes or remains zero 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 hence after first clock pulse we get the data one zero 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 then during the se second negative edge what happens here data in apply the next zero here data in becomes zero hence q0 now becomes zero but q1 becomes one because the d1 has the value one hence q1 becomes one and other two remains zero zero hence we get the data zero one zero zero okay that means after the second clock pulse we have the data like this okay zero one zero zero then when the third clock pulse occurs that means the third bit is given the third bit is zero hence flip flop zero is in reset mode similarly flip-flop 1 is in reset mode but only flip-flop 2 is in set mode that means it becomes 1 and flip-flop 3 is in reset mode we get the data 0010 similarly we can see the operation when the fourth bit is applied fourth bit is also 0 the input of flip-flop 3 is 1 hence it is only set while other becomes 0 hence we get the data 0 0 0 1 I hope you all understand the operation of serial input parallel output shift register if we draw the timing diagram of this truth table then we can see that first we can draw the clock signal we know that the clock signal is a perfect square wave having the 50% duty cycle and we can draw the clock signal like this we require four clocks okay this is the negative edge of the clock and we are going to see the operation of our shift register in the negative edge okay our data input is data input is 0 0 0 1 that means we have to give LSB first hence our data is 1 0 0 0 okay 1 then 0 0 0 0 then during first clock pulse Q0 becomes 1 hence we can draw Q0 like this during first clock pulse here Q0 becomes 1 and at the second clock pulse it becomes 0 ok like this then we can draw Q1 Q1 becomes 1 on second clock pulse here is the second clock pulse hence the q1 becomes one for the second clock pulse similarly we can draw q2 q2 becomes one on third clock pulse hence q2 becomes one on third clock pulse likewise we can draw Q3 also. I hope you all understand how to draw the timing diagram according to the truth table. Okay. Now let's see the next type of shift. Sorry, next type of shift register parallel input serial output that means PISO type of shift register. In this operation, the data is entered parallelly and taken out serial as shown in following figure 
in this figure we can clearly see that the data is entered parallelly and taken out serially okay in this type of operation there are two modes in which the circuit can work namely shift mode and the load mode that means in parallel input serial output the circuits operate in two mode shift mode and load mode let's see the logic diagram of parallel input serial output the circuit is shown in this figure is a 4 bit parallel input serial output register the four bits are b0 b1 b2 b3 okay the output of previous flip flop is connected to the input of next one via a combinational circuit that means the output of this flip flop is connected with the input of next flip flop through a combinational circuit the binary input word b0 b1 b2 b3 is applied through the same combinational circuit here are the binary inputs and these are applied through this combinational circuit i hope you all understand the logic diagram here let's see once again here are the parallel inputs are given b0 b1 b2 and b3 b0 is directly connected to the d0 b1 is connected with and gate second b2 is connected with and gate 4 and b3 is connected with and gate 6 okay here is a line which is called as shift or load line and here is a not gate connected the two and gates are connected with this line or this line if we can see that to this line the nand gate 2 nand gate 4 and nand gate 6 is connected that means when this line is active these 2 4 and 6 number of and gates are becomes active similarly when this line is active then and gate 1 and gate 3 and and gate 5 becomes active i hope you all understand the circuit diagram let's see the operation of this type of shift register we know that there are two modes in which the circuit can work namely shift mode or load mode first let's see the load mode in order to load the word b3 b2 b1 b0 into the shift register we have to select the load mode by setting shift load input 0 that means to select load mode we have to give this shift load value 0 that means this line becomes 0 and here is inverter is placed hence 0 inverted to into 1 that means this one this line becomes 1 that means this line becomes active now okay while this line becomes inactive okay that means if we want the load mode then we have to give value zero hence what happens let's see when the shift or load line is low then and gates 2 4 and 6 becomes active and gate 2 4 and 6 becomes active they will pass b1 b2 and b3 bits to the inputs d1 d2 and d3 when and gate 2 is active then it pass b1 to d1 when and gate 4 is active it pass b2 to d2 and when and gate 6 is active it pass b3 to d3 while d0 is directly connected to b0 that means b0 is directly connected with d0 
ओके ऑन द लो गोइंग एज ऑफ द क्लॉक द बाइनरी इनपुट्स B0, B1, B2, B3 will get loaded into the corresponding flip flops. Thus, parallel loading takes place. That means when we want to load the data into the shift register, then we have to give the value shift load line zero. Okay. Hence, here is inverter. Hence, here is value becomes one, and this line get active. When this line get active. The AND gates associated with this line, that means AND gate two, AND gate four, and AND gate six becomes active. When these AND gates becomes active, then the parallel data is loaded into the flip flop in only one clock cycle. Okay, I hope you all understand the loading of the shift register. Now. Let's see the next mode, shift mode. In order to operate the shift register in the shift mode, we have to select the shift mode by applying a logic one to the shift or load line input. That means to operate the shift register in shift mode, we have to give value one to this line. Hence, here is not get. Here we get the value. and this line is deactivate now but this line has the value 1 hence it is activated okay when shift or load line is high and gets 2 4 and 6 becomes inactive that means and get 2 4 and 6 becomes inactive hence the parallel loading of the data becomes impossible but and gets 1 3 and 5 becomes active and gets associated with this line are 1 3 and 5 hence these are becomes active therefore shifting of data from left to right bit by bit on application of clock pulses become possible d0 acts as the data input terminal and q0 q3 we get the serial data output thus the parallel input serial output operation takes place i hope you all understand the parallel input serial output data shifting let's see once again here in this diagram first if we want the load mode then give the value zero when we give value 0 then this line becomes active because its value becomes 1 okay the and gates associated with this line are 2 4 and 6 hence this 2 4 and 6 becomes active now and 1 3 and 5 these are inactive when 2 4 and 6 and gates are active then during one clock cycle all the data is parallelly loaded into the flip flop when the loading is takes place then now make the value of shift load line 1 hence now this line becomes active and the and gates associated with this line are 1 3 and 5 while 2 4 and 6 are inactive hence parallel loading of data is not possible then after clock pulses or simultaneously by giving clock pulses we can shift data from left to right okay i hope you all understand the operation of parallel input serial output type of shift register thank you